Antonia Merce y Luke, September 4, 1890, July 18, 1936, stage name La Argentina, was a dancer known for her creation of the neoclassical style of Spanish dance as a theatrical art. She was one of the major influences on Japanese Bdai dancer Kazuo Eno. It is given to few artists to incarnate in their art, at a given epoch, the distinct characteristics of their ace and its conception of the beautiful, and this, in a manner so incomplete and significant that their names get identified with a peculiar way of living and the story of their life becomes a page of history. It is to one such artist representative of her art, of her country, of her age that this short study is consecrated. The recent unexpected renaissance of Spanish dancing, an art whose creative power seemed to have been exhausted, is due primarily to the singular genius of one dancer, La Argentina. Alone she has epitomized and regenerated a form long cheapened and falsified by the musical gypsies turned out wholesale in Seville. And her indescribable success has loosened a new onslaught of Spanish dancing, the oldest and noblest of European exotics. Early life, she was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina. A talented young dancer, her career was greatly influenced by her parents Manuel Merce, an Andalusian, and Josefina Luke, a Castilian, themselves professional Spanish dancers. It was due to them that La Argentina's entire life was mainly focused on dance, where her parents greatly wanted her to excel. She studied ballet with her parents in her youth. She trained mainly with her father, who taught her to dance at the age of four. When she was nine years old, she debuted at the Teatro Real in Madrid, Spain. At the age of eleven, she was a star dancer at the Madrid Opera. Shortly after the death of her father, La Argentina retired from ballet. After this life transforming event, at the age of 14, La Argentina started studying native Spanish dances with her mother. Career, for several of years to come, her style of dancing was not highly admired in her society, therefore she could not perform in theaters or in concerts, in which she was used to dancing. She danced wherever she could, which meant performing in café cantants and music halls. Prior to World War I, La Argentina was extremely admired in Paris, where she accepted invitations to dance at the Moulin Rouge, the Théâtre des Champs-Élysées, and other important locations. Years later, she took interest in a gypsy-style dance and made it her own. In her career she made six transcontinental tours in North America, sometimes accompanied by flamenco guitarist Carlos Montoya awards, she received several awards, including the French Legion d'Honneur and the Spanish Orden de Isabel la Catolica. Death, she died on July 18, 1936, in Bayonne, France. La Argentina was 46 years old when she died. Contribution to Formal Dance Her contributions to formal dance are expressed in her style, her choice of music her use of castanets, and her structuring of performances.